speaking of third baseman, let's go to the uh, team with the most talked about third baseman this all season. It's my guy, KB. Ryan Hayes? No. This is basically my second KB. Team, right? KB, yeah. <laughs> Keep Ryan. Keep Ryan. All right, two seconds. I mean, look at that lineup, bro. On um, papers, really come on, bro. Potential, very high. Even the bench, dude. I love all mine on the bench. Marisnik's a solid Club bench Coming guy. off a 34 and 26 yeah, record, man. winning the NL Central by three games. So it's you, Darvish, and Victor Caratini via trade decline, Daniel Descalzo, and John Lester's options. They lost Chatwood, Quintana, Jeffers, Billy Hamilton, Josh Fagley, Jason Kipnis. Brian Tepera, Schwarber, Almora, Jose Martinez, and Connor maybe a free agency. Oh, he might have just resigned Tepera, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, they just resigned him. He got MVP votes, by the way. Hell yeah. (laughs) Trade, Cameron Maben, Rafael Ortega, Michael Hermosillo, Joe Biani, Jonathan Holder. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Mac, shut your mouth. You're not allowed to speak on names. Matt Duffy, Alex Moore, Adam Morgan, Austin Romont, Jock Peterson, Trevor Williams, Jake Merzik, Jake Arietta, and Brandon Workman. So I do have one question. Max, say this name. Do you know what team okay. is on first before this? That's actually even a better I question. I don't. Well, you suck then. So tomorrow? <laughs> what the fuck does it look like fucking Wilmer Flores? He doesn't. It does not look like Wilmer Flores, but continue. A skinny version, yeah. I mean, if you're blindfolded, maybe. Like... <laughs> I am blind. <laughs> what do you expect? Oh, yeah. Turn your body face forward. Come on. Uh, All right. Anyway, fuck you guys. Uh, Let me start yeah, off no, with. As I said, yeah. Yeah, man. Right. On paper, to me. On paper, best team in the division on paper. However, there's something wrong with the Cubs, man. It's like they, 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 they lack a spark. And for whatever reason, they're just a very lackluster team in the regular season and in the postseason, as you saw last year. That's all I got for now. I, I hate their pitching. I don't agree. I, I just don't get. I don't think it's any good. I just don't get why you would yeah. sign Jock Peterson because you essentially get – like, Peterson's probably better than Schwarber. So, like, I, I don't know. It's just weird. Like, are you he competing or you're not? Schwarber. Like, are you competing or you're not? Like, why yeah. trade Darwin? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a patchwork rotation, really. I mean, Hendricks, uh, Hendricks, uh, Hendricks and Davies are good, but after that it's kind throw of no hitter. Like, I mean, that's, that's yeah. cute. Yeah, right. so, and Phil Humber through they, they, got, they got like three guys that throw like 88 miles an hour. What about yeah, Mike Fires, two, Max? And four, right? Elite, they're throwing, right? They're throwing Jared he's Weaver. Elite, bro. He, he is an elite. <laughs> yeah. All you need is Jared Weaver and Jamie Warren. You got a high school baseball pitching staff, <laughs> velocity wise. <laughs> that's generous. I mean, Arietta slotted in the two is a little generous, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, like, if, if they wanted to shed money, why not try and trade Kimbrell? Like, you could probably right. trade him pretty easily and fill in a, yeah. uh, a closer role with, with somebody. Like, Shane Green's still fucking out there, isn't he? Or even if you, uh, you yeah, want to shed money, you have Workman there, there, too. Their, their problem is they yeah, don't true. they're in or out. It, that's their biggest yeah. problem, like Mackin said. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. why would you sign Workman? Workman's, like, a very good reliever if you're not competing. Like yeah. you, it, it, this is what I don't get. Like, if you look at like who looks like they have guys, analytical guys that look at the division, look at the numbers. Like, if even on paper, if you look at their team on paper, compared to the rest of the division, it's like you're clearly in it. Yeah. Offensively, yeah. yes. They're Offensively, yeah. Right. Yeah, and even pre you Darvish trade, like you look at it, you're like, well, all right, mm-hmm. we got Darvish and Hendricks. That's that's probably the best one two in the division with Castillo and Gray. Yeah, and then it's like you got Mills, who was okay, and I, I just don't get it. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't really like their bullpen all too much. They have two guys. They have three guys. That's pretty much. Gener- it. That's generous, I would say. It's working. Well, the three. 
Workman, be Workman, Kimbrell, and Kimbrell, and I think Ch- Chafin's not. No, the guy, the guy, uh, the guy, the guy, uh, Winker, Winkler, who's pretty good. I like, I like Alzolay too. Who goes hard? Alzolay. Oh. oh yeah, is he? He's one of the top prospects. Shouldn't he yeah. be in the rotation? He was, yeah. He he's a long guy projected. Yeah. He beats him. Uh, he he might be able to beat out Trevor Williams. Yeah. Or Jake Arrieta. I think that's gonna be the one. He- that's not, that's what you gotta watch out for. Be real, that? Jake Arrieta fucking sucks now. I don't care how yeah. ripped he is. Oh, you're sucks. knocking out your neck. I don't like my player to watch. <laughs> All right, so while you're there, yeah, let's well, take care. Yeah, there to watch. Uh, you want me to you want me to until why? Yeah, <laughs> may as well. All right, <laughs> Jake Arrieta's best seasons were with the Cubs, so. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I don't know, familiar location. He knows all the guys. Like, I don't know, maybe it'll bring him back. Not, not obviously, he's not going to be back to what he was, but, like, mm-hmm. at least rejuvenate him to be a little bit better or average. All he needs to do is have a full year, all right? Like, and yeah. it helps that he has his – he also helps that he has, I mean, David Ross is his manager, who is yeah. his catcher. That, that does help. Time. I like yes. that. I like that, Mike. Yeah, who's it? I think who's Ariana back, needs though? to figure out. Everybody needs to figure out whether a good he's pitcher too. a power yeah, pitcher good. or very good. Or, I like Roman. He was a good Yankee. Very good backup. And isn't David uh, Bodie? Wasn't he a catcher too? At one? No. Uh, maybe, maybe in college. I maybe, thought he came maybe, up as a catcher little. and they moved him around. <laughs> maybe in t Uh I think you're th- talking about Kyle Schwarber. No, I know Schwarber that did that. Bryce too. I think both. I Bryce think Harper. he had the same issue. Kelly Jansen. Kenley Jant, yeah. That's nice. Got here Molina, second best catcher in all of baseball. Christian Bethencourt. Uh, he, he, he improved over the course of the episode. <laughs> yeah. I said top three. I said top three. So second best is, is in the top three, isn't it? Anyway, Max, who's your player to watch? Or Mike, were you yeah, not done? Uh, oh, no. I was saying we went from 2013 to 2012. That's why Yadi went up to uh, one spot. <laughs> I got Jack Peterson. And MVP Ryan Tapera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, Jock Peterson's my guy to watch. Zach Davies. I'm be curious how he handles. Did you put Jack Peterson too? I put Zach Davies. Oh, okay. It'll be interesting to see how he handles that Wrigley outfield uh, after seven years, six years in LA. He's playing center, right? I'm assuming. Uh, he playing so, yeah. Oh, Jock Peterson? No, nah, Ian Happ is center. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't know. I mean, he used to play center, so. Yes. Yeah, 2015. All right. Where the fuck you been? I don't know. Not there. Billy, why you got Zach Davies? Uh, He's been so quietly good over the past few years. He is just, you know, he's kind of the same thing as as Kyle Hendricks. You know, he's not an overpowering guy. He mixes well into this rotation. They're all, you know, they're all pretty much all crafty guys. None of them are overpowering and. I think that uh, he'll do well in the Windy Cindy. Okay. I, like that. I don't know if you said anything. Who, who, uh, who's your player to watch? Oh, it's Chris Bryant. It, it always but is. For, for, <laughs> there's not even any bias that. It's just literally because he's, uh, he, he was bad last year. So, like, and he's he's coming up on a, he's a lot of trade talks around him. Like, you got to think, like, mentally it's probably getting to him. And I think – it's, he's got to perform and be healthy so he could either get traded and get paid or just get paid in general. So it's KB for non biased reasons. All right. Uh, the DraftKings line I saw was 79 and a half. Yep. I'll take the over. As did I. I got 81. I took the over as well. I got, I got 81 as well. Really this is 87 and Mike's a 78. Oh, we're, we're all over the map here. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. All right. I mean, not really. Let's, let's, let's hear them over again. Max, what'd you have? I had 81. 81. Mike, you had 78. 78. Mac, you had? You know, I'll say 82. I won't say 82. 81. I'll say 82. Yeah. Okay. Good. Don't, don't agree with Max. Never. <laughs> yeah. <what? laughs> Why do you think they're going to have 87 one? 
Because they're the best team on paper. Come on. You really think that Chris Bryan is really this bad? Do you think Anthony Rizzo was really that bad? Do you think that Javi Baez was really that bad? Anthony Rizzo wow. is a model of consistency. Look they, at his baseball reference, bro. It's crazy. They they have they have a great lineup. They're the best lineup on paper in this division, hitting wise anyway. Chris Bryan is gonna come back. He's gonna have an MVP MVP type year on a contract year. Love that energy, Let's do it. Man. Love that. You know, Jock Peterson against the righty is gonna mash. Like it's just yeah, it's proven. I, I like even Hayward in the eight hole, bro. Like he seems yeah. like he's been figuring out year after year. Yeah, he's just so quiet. He's tremendous defensively every year. Ian Happ has been really good too. Yeah. Like, and they have a nice bet. Why do you say 78 to? I just think they're going to be in between competing and fucking selling, and they're just going to not know what to do. I could see that too. I could see it. Yeah, the, yeah it's one way or the other. Um, I don't trust it. I don't trust their pitching either. Yeah. That's fair. No, I, I really either. think it's either going to be 87 or 78. That's why. Yeah, I, I know. Exactly. That, well, that's, I just went for the high. I was either going to be exactly where Mike is, like literally the same exact thing. I, I have it written down. 78 or 87. I just I just decided to go with the 87. So, so let me see this. Maca, the Cubs buy or sell at the deadline? Uh, I think they're selling, dude. I yeah. don't think I don't think KB comes back. Uh, I don't think Bias is coming back. So that right there, they should probably be looking to shop that. Now, for, listen, the trade deadline for them is the best time for them to sell. Right? You try mm-hmm. and get a – if uh, Bryant – and uh, buyers are, are doing good. You try to get a haul for them and st- yeah. maybe try and do like a quick little two year rebuild. Yeah. I mean, the reports say that Contreras was even talked yeah. about over the, like, point, some point of the uh, season. I, I personally I think, think they're going to I think that they're, that they're going to be sellers no matter what at the deadline. I agree. It, is it a team, payroll thing or is it? No, just... this team is not good enough to beat the Dodgers or the Padres or the Mets or the even the Nationals or the Braves. They're not. And, they, and they, have, they have these guys who are going to be, you know, who are on contract years who they could get a nice, you know, a nice pickup for. So right. why not? Even if they're in first place, why not just? They should look to move three of the four guys. I agree. At least. Which, which one do they keep? I think they keep Rizzo. Yeah, I think Rizzo. Rizzo is Rizzo's the, the oldest to. one. I think he's the staple there. They have yeah. they have a Maya who's gonna come up and be their starter. Yeah, Contreras. I I know that I saw at the beginning of the off season that like people people were trying to make trade rumors about Baez, and they came out and said that like uh, an MLB insider for the Cubs basically uh, said that if the Cubs are gonna build around anyone, it would be Baez, which makes a little oh. bit of sense. Yeah, that makes He's- sense. The youngest because Rizzo is the oldest, all of them, so it would be him, yeah. But not I mean, that Rizzo's even that old, he's turning what 31 30? this year, 33. There's no way. Maybe Did you look it up because I'm about 100%? Uh, uh, Rizzo, yeah, he's turning 32, he's turning 32. Yes, yeah, so he's he was born 1989. When's his birthday? Uh, I don't know. I would build around Brian, bro. MVP, rookie of the year. I mean, he is August 8th. Okay, so he's baseball 31, so I was correct. Max was wrong. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's his contract I, ends this year, actually? They they could really build around Wait, anything, does it really? any one of these guys. Yeah, because yeah. he, he had the nine-year deal in 13. Holy mm-hmm. shit. It's been nine years already. Yeah. God damn. Oh, yeah, so they're Wait, selling. The hell, they're how old selling. were you then, Mac? Uh, 15? Uh, I was 14 or 15 in 2013. Damn. That's sickening. Yeah, I was a freshman in high school. And, and now his contract's over. That's bizarre. Oh, wow. that We were all in high school when that happened then, huh? Yes, yeah. we were. That yeah. is bizarre. <laughs> I mean, when Tatis' contract is over, I might have a fucking whole family, bro. I, Shit. Might, I might have fucking grandkids. <laughs> That might be dead. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, no, interesting. Definitely, interesting. they're definitely an interesting team. Yeah, they are. I think if you have to pick a team to watch, they're probably my pick on, on all honesty because they could go either way. Uh, in the central or in the yeah. MLB? Oh, in the okay. central. 
They got to be in first place by like six games at the trade deadline to, to be buyers. Yeah. I, but I not even buyers. I don't think they're buyers at all. I think there's zero percent chance that they're going to be buyers. I think I think they, might, they they might get like a complimentary starter bullpen piece. Yeah, like small guys. They're not going to yeah, be. Something like that. They're not. They're not going to give away anything that you know. Yeah, like a guy in a one year deal that you you'll yeah. take a rental for a couple months. Yeah, they're not. They're not going to be giving away any prospects for anybody. No, there's no chance because no. they're they're way too close to that in between point. They, but they're almost better off just. Chalk in the season, dude, and just selling and, and just getting a, a return. So, like, you're better off trying to trade Bryant, Rizzo, and Baez. You could get prospects mm-hmm. instead of just trying to sign them or let I agree. sign them. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I really think that Javier Baez is one of the most overrated players in baseball. He's just yeah, super flashy, and that's why people love him. It's factual. But, mm-hmm. He's got a good glove, but yeah. He's a great base runner. He is. He's he's got great baseball instincts, but he's yeah, not. He does some things as... on the field that like you can't yeah. like quantify, but like his bat exactly. just just doesn't. Yeah, it's just not. It's not what it was. What what it you know? Uh, what was that? Twenty was that twenty seventeen or eighteen? Twenty eighteen. Even twenty eighteen, yeah. it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. He had a, he had a few good years with the bat, but uh, he's not gonna he's that... not gonna be worth. What he he he's just not worth no. what he's probably going to be asking for. No, no, nah, yeah, he's he's more... especially given what the shortstop market's becoming. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. Like, there's way too many shortstops ahead of him in that market. Exactly. Who's the first to go? Baez, Bryant, Rizzo, or Contreras? KB, hundred percent. Yeah, Bryant. He's the most attractive piece. Literally. <laughs> All right, yeah, keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants. Come on. Yeah, all right, to the podcast.